I want to round that number up. Now, can you round that number? Yes. Well, the first thing you used to say to me, Mr. Demi, we're going to round it up to the tens place or the hundreds place because it makes a difference, okay? If I say we're going to round to the tens place, you can just forget about this three because all I'm looking at is this and making that a zero. But at this time, I'm going to say, can we round this number to the hundreds? As soon as I say hundreds, you're looking right there to hundreds, right? Now, what two hundreds are close to this one? If I cover this up, how much is that? 300. And what's 100 more than 300? 400. Now, the key is we don't want to look at the three doesn't make any difference. If I say round to the hundreds, you only look over one place and to see what this is going to do to the number. Because when I round it, when I'm all done, these are both going to be zeros, right? Now, is this 8 going to make it go up or make it a zero? Up, 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 right? So this is going to be rounded to 400. Let's try another one. 547, rounded to the nearest hundred. Okay, so what's the closest hundred here? 500. 500. What's one more? Very good, 600. Now, am I going to look at the seven? No. So don't even worry about that. What you're going to look at is the one immediately to the right, the next place value that's smaller than the hundreds, tens, is that four going to make it go up by one? Down, down. Down, okay. So this one is 500. You get that? Okay, and why are we going to round stuff? So that we can estimate. And we're going to do that right now. Now, if you want to get your blocks, we're going to do a big problem now. We're going to do some hundreds. We're going to say 168 plus 235, okay? So I'm going to build this one. 160. Eight. And here I'm going to have 200. I'm going to lower these a little bit. 235. Okay. Now, where do we start when we add? Do we start with the big boys or the little boys? The little guys, because in case we have to regroup the little ones and make a bigger one, that's the way the decimal system operates. So, what's 5 plus 8? Okay, that would be 10 plus 3, and now I can regroup that, okay? Now, is the 10 in the proper place? Where does he go? So I'm going to carry him next door, put him with the blue 10s, all right? And if I want to, right away, I can put a 3 over here where we're recording this. Okay, now, how many 10s do we have? We've got six here, plus one is seven, seven. plus three is ten. What's ten tens make? One hundred. Another hundred. Boy, I've got to go to my box over here, get another red one, because these tens, ten tens is the same as one hundred, and I'm going to put him up here. Where are we going to put him? Got to make some space for him. Okay, now how many hundreds do we have? Four. Four hundreds. So let's write our answer down. We have three units. How many tens do we have? None. None, because when we took the three, we carried one ten up here, right? One ten plus six tens is seven tens, plus three tens was ten tens, which is now one hundred, right? And what's two plus one plus one? Four hundred. Four Three. What do you think? Do that okay? I think that two plus one plus one is 
2 plus 1 plus 1? Okay, here's what you're going to do, though. Just take two of them together. What's 1 plus 1? Okay, now think of that 2 plus 2, 4. We're going to come to that later, column addition. But what you do is you just group two of them and then group those two. Just group them in two at a time. It's hard for anybody to add three things at the same time. So you do two and then make it two. Okay? That was a good question. Okay, now I'm going to do this same problem with place value notation. Remember place value notation? Okay, how would I write 168 with place value notation? 100 plus 60 plus, good. How would I write this one? 200 30 plus 5. See, we're just breaking them up into place values. Okay, now, let's go ahead and add. What's 5 plus 8? Good, 13. Put a 3 here and a 10 here. What's 10 plus 6 tens plus 3 tens? 10 tens. 10 tens or 100. And the hundreds are over here, so we don't have any tens, but we have another 100. What's 100 plus 100? 200. 200 plus 200? 400. Good. So the answer is 403. Does that make sense? Now I'm giving you a whole bunch of ways to do this stuff. Some people might be fine with this. Some might want to use the blocks more. Some might want to use place value notation. I'm giving you a smorgasbord because people have different learning styles and techniques, okay? So I'm giving the teacher a lot of different ideas and you find out which one works for your son or daughter. But the main thing is I want them to understand it. When they see this one up here, they should be thinking that's 110. When they see the one there, that's 100. And if this helps them to do that, fine. If the blocks help them, use that.